All right, I'm on hole number nine. I'm in the Fuji Open. I'm on Monday's practice round. Let's call it what it is. We practice on Mondays. The Masters players, you know, they practice on Mondays. <laughs> the first time I'll, it's the first time that they've had the opportunity to play a lot of these holes from the third tee so most of the masters almost all of them will practice on Monday so that they can get the timing down and check out the holes and they can do exactly what we're doing they can figure out exactly what drive they want to use what ball they want to use they look at the wind so they know tomorrow hey the winds going in this direction and so they know that stuff going in what the winds gonna be like going into the green and what's the wind on the drive shot all right on this hole the goal is to get out here as far as we can and it okay there's a lot of different ways to come at this you can do the bounce over and come out this way you can do a rough bump this rough bump is really dangerous and this is where even today for myself I don't have any of my club numbers it's just what I have in my head so I know my max numbers for all my clubs and for some of them I know for like my short iron I know all its numbers but here we're coming in, we're trying to come in with a long iron. So depending on where we are in our ball, in our club, you know, if we're in mid, it's going to be one number. If we're in max, it's going to be a number. If it's a min, it's going to be a number. And since you're doing a rough bump, you want to know what the number is. Because you get this wrong on these rough bumps and you end up hitting the, fair, the green instead of the rough, you're going to go for a ride. And vice versa, if you make too big of a pull, you're going to end up staying in the rough and you're going to lower the chances that you're going to get an eagle. Whereas if you do the bounce over here, and that's a pretty straightforward shot, it is a little tricky and it is easy to kind of go past it. And this isn't a hole that you really want to have to take long putts. I'm going to bring an extra mile. And you can get this done with a quarterback. I'm going to bring an extra mile and a Titan. And I'm going to bring... I don't think there's anything I can't get done with those clubs. So I'm going to stick with those. If I end up in my wood range, something went seriously wrong. This should be extra mile backbone. And maybe a putter. <laughs> think, think positively. Actually, if you've watched all the videos up to this point, it's been a really good round, and I've purposely missed all my putts and missed some of those so that I wouldn't uh, be able to, wouldn't have any shot of qualifying today. But if I actually would have made all of those putts, I've had a really good round. Shot at least a minus 13. And I think the goal here is our minimum goal on this, I believe, should be minus 12. That should be like what we're. That's like if we get a minus 12, okay, that was the minimum score. We, we're working at minus 12 and trying to increase that. And so the whole goal here is to play, try and play consistently. Now our opponent, with that side spin there, it looks to me like they're going to try and get as far out to the left as they can and come at this hole from the left. And that was not good. So my opponent is in big, big trouble. Big, big trouble. Because there is no way you're making it from there. So I'm going to get out here in the middle of the fair and give myself as much room as possible. I got a 4-2 wind, and we could leave the wind in it. Let's see how much distance we have. I think if I leave the wind in it, I'm actually going to roll off. So I'm going to take the wind out. And I'm just going to try and hit a perfect no with nothing special. Hitting it perfect. Let's see how it rolls, see what kind of roll we get. I like that. I wanted to get out the I don't 
I'm not a big fan of flirting with these edges. So the deal is, is you come out with the best of intentions and you end up long right there. It's not that you can't make it from there, but this is another one of those holes. This is one of those holes if you end up if you end up in the in trouble up here, you're gonna want the longest things that you have in your bag. If you end up in trouble up front, you definitely want something that's that you know the numbers. Oh, excuse me. That's actually not a bad layup shot for where you're at, dude. So we have a couple ways that we could go here. Here's my minimum club. So we can do the bounce over from here or we can do the rough bump. And there's my max club. So these are pretty close to max numbers. And my max numbers on my, the way I play this is about 1.2 per ring. So it's 1.2, so we're a little shy of two rings. Trying to hit it perfect. Hit it great to the left. Let's see if the adjustment was right. <laughs> and my adjustment wasn't. My, my setup was wrong. <laughs> Otherwise I wouldn't have made that. <laughs> And I think the deal is there is that there's actually, and if I look at my notes now, now that I actually got the Albi on that, <laughs> if I look at my notes, there's actually a 10% wind adjustment. So that the way that the wind was blowing there, if I'd have made the extra 10%, I'll have to go back and watch that and see where I went wrong. I think it was because I didn't make the extra 10% wind adjustment. All right. that You know what's funny? Is that Albi right there? Let's see where I'm at. All right. I had that happen to me one time where I made an Albi on the last hole, and I actually ended up that Albi put me in tenth place. And I wasn't trying to qualify that day, but the Albi just kind of picked it up. So I'm glad that I missed all of those putts and stuff along the way, so that when that hit. So I was shooting probably about a minus 13 and that would have put me at about minus 14. So that was actually a pretty decent round. So I like what my notes from earlier today have given me. Um, I like where that's ending up. So tomorrow, my first round, I'll go through and practice one more time and then try and qualify tomorrow. Thanks for watching.